Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mick. Welcome back to our video tutorial series on custom collection view layouts. In this video, you're going to see how to implement a cell snapping effect, similar to that seen in paged scroll views. So it enforces the user to scroll a certain amount before the featured cell will change. Otherwise, all the cells will snap back to their previous positions. To do this, we're going to take advantage of a method in UI Collection View Layout that we've not used before in the series. And we'll also take advantage of the fact that UI Collection View descends from UI Scroll View so that we can adjust the deceleration rate to really enhance the feel of the snapping effect. Here's what the app will look like by the end of this video. The user will now need to scroll beyond the midpoint of the featured cell before it will snap to the next cell. If they don't, all cells will simply snap back to their previous position. And this makes interacting with the layout far more playful. UI Collection View Layout declares a method target content offset for a proposed content offset with scrolling velocity, which provides you with both the content offset for where the collection view intends to come to a rest after the most recent scroll, and the opportunity to change that by returning a new offset wrapped up in a CG point. And that's exactly what we're going to do. First, we'll calculate the item index for the proposed content offset. And since we're dealing with floats, we'll round the result. And it's actually that rounding that enforces the user having to drag beyond the midpoint of the featured cell. We'll then calculate the correct Y offset for the correct cell that we want to stop at, and then we'll return that wrapped up in a CG point. The other thing that we need to do is to increase the deceleration rate of our collection view, as this will really enhance the overall feel of the cell snapping effect. Now, since UI collection view descends from UI scroll view, and UI scroll view has a property called deceleration rate, we can simply set that to UI scroll view deceleration rate fast on our collection view to achieve the desired effect. So here's the sample app as at the end of the previous video and challenge. And you can see now we've got our session details and these fade in and scale appropriately as the user scrolls, which is this really nice effect we've got going on now. But there's just one small problem with the current layout implementation and it's this. So you can see we're kind of between the featured cell state and the standard cell state and there's no snapping. And what we want to do is implement something akin to a paged UI scroll view. And we can use a new method. This will be the first time we've used it in the series. Target content offset for proposed content offset with scrolling velocity, which will allow us to take where the scroll view is intending to stop and manipulate that to implement the snapping effect that we're looking for. So with that, let's stop the sample running and jump back to Xcode and open up our ultra visual layout.swift file. And then at the very bottom of that file, we're going to implement that method. So again, target content offset for proposed content offset with scrolling velocity. The first thing we need to work out is the item index for the item belonging to where the scroll view is intending to stop. So let item index equals and we're just going to round this the proposed content offset dot y divided by our drag offset and this will give us the item index and then we can work out the y offset which is equal to the item index times the drag offset and that'll give us our new y offset and then we can simply return cg point with zero as the x and y offset as the y value and now if we build and run you can see that if i don't quite go over the midpoint of the featured cell it snaps back but then if i go over the midpoint it snaps to the next cell and this gives us a really nice snapping effect but it's still one small issue with the current layout and it's that this, the scrolling is really slow so if you kind of scroll beyond that point and let go you can see there you go, it's really slow. It does end up where it needs to end up, but it'd be great if that deceleration rate was much quicker. And luckily there's a method or a property on UI scroll view, 
which is what UI Collection View inherits from, that allows us to change the deceleration rate. So if we stop the sample and open up our Inspirations View Controller, and then at the bottom of View Did Load, we can get our Collection View and set the deceleration rate to UI Scroll View, deceleration rate fast. And again, if we build and run for the last time, you'll see now that our deceleration rate is much faster and it gives that lovely snapping effect that we're trying to achieve. And with that, that's the end of our ultra visual layout. That's it for this video tutorial. And as always, we like to leave off with a challenge. As this video represents the final part of implementing the ultra visual layout, your challenge this time is to simply keep on watching, where in the next video, you'll begin the fifth and final layout, the visually striking timber layout. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.